Well, well, well. It appears we've got an update. Yes, as if out of the blue, the TF team have dropped Scream Fortress XVI. What is that, like 16 or something? I don't know. Anyway, this is, hopefully, the first bot-free Scream Fortress experience in a very long time. And I can't tell you how excited I am for that. But less waffling, let's dive right into these patch notes and then we'll take a look at the new content we've been given. So we start off with seven new community maps. That is Toxic, Dark Marsh, Freaky Fair, Dynamite, Circus, Outburst and Blaze Hatton. They all sound pretty interesting. I've seen nothing of these new maps, so I'm going in very blind, which is kind of what I enjoy with these updates. And then we have the new Terrifying Trove case with 21 community curated cosmetics that we will go through shortly. Four new community contributor taunts, the crushing defeat, the peace out, the commending clap, and the punchline. 22 new community created unusual effects that I will never see on one of my own hats because I am the unluckiest man alive. And then the Scream Fortress 16 war paint case with 12 community created war paints, which is the first time in a while I believe we're seeing a war paint case as well. And then it's all the usual Halloween stuff, you know, you get a soul gargoyle, Halloween contracts, yada yada yada, runs through until November 7th. Let's just jump into the update and see what content we've been blessed with. Very excited. Okay, and we're going to take a look at the cosmetics now of the terrifying trove case. Hopefully there's some pretty good ones. I've not seen these before, so I'm going in blind. But we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. And the first one is the Triboni Forus Gentle Manus. I've probably mispronounced that, but he looks pretty cool. This looks like that slug fella, but he's grown a moustache, got a pipe, and a hat. And you know what? I fuck with his vibe. He's pretty cool. The spider sights. These remind me of that um, spy cosmetic. It's like a, a bug's head, I believe. It's, it's on screen. I can't remember the name of it. These look pretty cool, but not a cosmetic I'm probably going to use, in all honesty. The Dusk Duster, though. This is a very cool heavy cosmetic. A very nice coat for the man. Um, he's got a lovely set of coats nowadays, much like the spy who has far too many, if I'm honest. We need more loadout slots to fit all his coats in. But yeah, this is a very solid heavy cosmetic. Gives me Vampire Hunter vibes, but also some cowboy vibes. So yeah, I'm a fan. Versatile as well. The Manhattan Project. A little um, hazmat suit and rubber glove for the engineer. Can't really go wrong there. The Nightfall Veil. Just as I was saying, we had some nice... Um, spy coat cosmetics we get another one and this is ninja themed i think it already has a ninja style jacket if i'm not mistaken but this is a very high definition much more up-to-date version of that and i like it and it gets some legs as well very nice oh my god the defaced detonator jesus that is that is something all right bro's lost some of his face i'm not sure if he knows but wow that is that's a sight to behold the strikeout okay so it's just the baz helm with a ball indented in it and a few, bit of blood everywhere which i'd imagine would happen if you got a baseball slammed into your face it looks all right and hopefully the ball changes color depending on what team you're in so it's a red ball in a blue helmet blue ball in a red helmet you get the idea fleet commander okay another pirate hat for the demo man and probably one of the rest to be honest this looks pretty nice i like the color scheme and i like the um skull and crossed swords as well that's very nice the school nuisance taking a bit of a a left from halloween themed cosmetics for this interesting looking vest for the scout i do get harry potter vibes from this um, cosmetic as well but yeah not the biggest fan of this one the witch doctor okay getting a uh, baron samty vibes from this one here not sure how it would be equipped would the skull cover the merc's face i'm not too sure not even sure who this cosmetic's for but either way it looks cool Okay, the uh, the Strigoi stare. Interesting looking cosmetic there. Not sure what's going on with the Heavy's eyes. They look a bit fucked up, but the trim's decent. Big fan of the moustache um, and the little patch underneath the lip there. There's goggles as well. They look a bit uh, a bit interesting, but all in all, decent cosmetic, I think. Is, there might be a reference I'm missing. I'm not too sure, but from what I can see, I don't mind it. Okay, the nuclear necessity. This goes with that uh, Manhattan Project cosmetic, I guess. Yeah, looks decent. Looks like a hazmat suit with a bit of a added engineer flair. Yeah, solid. The Shadow Shroud. That's clearly the um, 
second cosmetic of that new ninja spy set looks very nice not too certain about the um, cigar poking through the mouth cover there but if you need a sig you need a sig man who am i to judge the del dozer now i actually follow the bloke who made this on twitter so i've seen this in development and yeah i'm a fan of it it adds to the litany of engineer cosmetics that make him cyborg so soon he'll be more robot than man and there's nothing we can do to stop that the surgeon general well, go on, General. not my favorite cosmetic in this set i'm not gonna lie looks all right i like the glasses he's wearing i think they're very funky but other than that not really for me i do apologize to the creator just not my taste the hellish overlord okay looks like another heavy helmet cosmetic and you know what it ain't half bad very spooky very halloween themed and then these very pointy horns as well yeah i'd imagine the overlord of hell would wear this helmet so you've completed the assignment there the chiromancer's kit okay i'm a fan of this i've been trying to find a lovely pyro mage themed set for a while and i think this cosmetic will be a perfect addition to that yeah i'm a big fan the badlands bandido okay this is very nice and i think it's also a very old cosmetic i remember seeing this in the um, workshop a few years back surprised they've added it now but i can't blame them it's a very nice cosmetic and one i may look to get my hands on as well see what we can do there the contaminated carryall not too sure how this is a pink but um here we are <laughs> part of that engineer manhattan project set i assume yeah it's it's all right but i think the priority is too high on this the duality of mantle i was also following the creator of this cosmetic on twitter so i saw this when it got added but yeah i'm a fan of it i'm not too sure how it works i imagine you get to pick if you want to be the quote unquote good side or the quote unquote evil side either way looks pretty funny and then the top cosmetic in this set is the seer seer and i don't mind it to be honest would i have it as a red probably not but it's still a very nice looking cosmetic big fan of the pattern they've put on the fabric there and that fire gem design up top as well is very cool not sure about the eyes hopefully that's a toggable style but other than that i like what i'm seeing and then finally for the first time in a long time wall paints so yeah first things first we've got three team style wall paints the team blackout the team charged and the team detail now these are as they say on the tin team themed so you have red on red team blue on blue team i think it's a nice touch we're kind of missing some of those wall paints in tf2 recently so yeah i'm happy to see that um you'll be seeing some examples on screen as i talk about these wall paints i think they look pretty cool i'm also a fan of the piranha mania wall paint i think it looks very fun very funky perfect for halloween as well yeah i'm a fan be interested to see what that looks like on some weapons oh my god the stardust war paint is amazing it's one of my favorite war paints ever added to team fortress 2 it's probably gonna be really expensive by the time quite a few have been unboxed so might have to do my few unboxings myself to get my hands on this but yeah big fan of that i'm gonna really enjoy seeing what it looks like on some weapons yeah love that and then the broken record war paint as well looks really cool probably wouldn't have it as a red but yeah looks solid no complaints really so yeah those have been the cosmetics added in this update so let's dive into the real meat and potatoes now let's take a look at those maps because i'm excited to see what they got cooking they always do themselves better and better each year so it should be fun all right and the first map we are testing this time out is blaze hatton which is a zombie infection map so we get to taste those new zombie infection updates and it's on one of my favorite mvm maps manhattan so big fan of this let's uh let's jump into it as they say okay i'm seeing a few uh a few missing textures there but we move i'm in let's go very weird seeing it from a different perspective like this but um okay okay bible doesn't do as much as i would have hoped which is okay nice ride Oh, I got fucked up. That was an epic. And that was really not epic. Didn't get the kill credit, man. But oh my god, we can come from down here. This is very crazy. Oh, they're all set up there, man. This is this is fucked. I'm not gonna do be able to do much, I don't think. Oh, I'm over here though. Oh man. damn it i tried i got my ass beat i mean yeah this is zombie invasion man there's not really much i can say i'm probably just gonna keep dying honestly kind of struggling with the whole bullets issue to be honest guys stop 
Be kind, please. Car is cool though. I like the car. Um, I can't really do much, to be honest. Now, how am I supposed to fight a sentry gun? I really don't know. Got one! Well, okay. I got one though. I'll, I'll, I will take that. I know I could probably just go like zombie spy and start shooting down their sentry guns, but I, I ain't got the games. I ain't got the skills for that. No, he's still alive. Ah! Yeah, no, that's fucking beat, man. This is not epic. I need some pro zombie gamers on here to really help us out, because uh, I'm not doing too good. Bro, get up there. What the hell? What the fuck? What? Who even killed? What the fuck? What the hell, man? I thought we finally got someone. Come on, boys. Let's go. Invisible barrier. Might need to fix that. Come on, lads. Come on. Where are they? Up there. Okay. I'm coming. Let's get involved. I've done nothing this whole game. Let's get involved. No! Missed my fire. Not epic. Nice. Epic. We did it, Pyro Boys, or Zombie Boys. We did it. And that was Blaze Hatton um, from a zombie perspective. I'm not going to play it from the survivor perspective because I'm just going to die first. <laughs> so uh, let's see what the other maps have to offer. Outburst versus Saxton Hale. Okay. <laughs> yes, we really are cooking with the funny game modes this time around, aren't we? Okay. We'll play, uh, we'll play Soldier. Is that a new Saxton Hale hat? It looks like it. Are we fighting Demon Saxton Hale? Oh, it's Demon Hale. Okay. Looks pretty cool, actually. I can't really see him properly because he's moving about, but I like what I'm seeing. That, <laughs> that pyro got freaked. Oh, my God. Well, first of all, where's the gargoyle? That's the real question. Oh, that just teleports you between the, um, the orbs. Okay. Yeah, that's a volcano there, man. Oh shit, he's over there. Right, um, gargoyle. All right, we're hitting, boys. We're doing well. I really need to find a gargoyle, though. That'd be ideal. He done it! Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> bro, made him laugh and got absolutely destroyed. Oh well. Didn't want to fall there. That was an epic. Get me in the fucking healing pool though. Christ almighty. Okay, maybe not. Don't point that thing at me. Oh, okay. That was targeted. That was definitely a targeted attack. But yeah, man, it's versus Saxon Hale. There's not really much to say. You're just fighting a demon Saxon Hale, which is pretty fun, I must say. I did 600 damage to him, I think. Not bad. At least I believe that's how much damage I've done. Been a while since I've played this, but I assume that's what that is. My hubris got the best of me. I I moved too far forward and then he, he got me. He got me good. That's versus Saxon Hale. Does exactly what it says on the tin. You fight Saxon Hale, but this time he's a demon with different coloured glowing arms. So, yeah. If you want to fight Saxon Hale, looking like a demon, then um, Outburst is the map for you. Dynamite. Twig of War. Okay. really going goofy with the goofy modes i guess very interested to see how this one works out not sure scout would be the best tug of war class but do we each have our own thingy majigs i don't know i don't know how this works very interested to see how it works once i get out of spectator that'll be lovely so it's like a payload essentially okay i thought it was like an actual rope nice let's go this looks pretty cool i like what i'm seeing very big fan of these map vibes just shit on fire what's not to love okay should have checked if there was a pumpkin bomb there. Not going to lie. Oh, there you go. What's, I've, what the f... What? <laughs> How did I die? What just happened? Um. Whoa. Being sick. Oh my god. Um. What? Well. GG, I guess. Alright, let's see how this game actually plays then. <laughs> And don't walk into that metal door or you'll get hit by a magic train. Take notes, guys. 
yeah, I'm a big fan of how this map looks, really. I think it's cool. I'm a fan. I like the vibe. Just don't touch that metal door. Or you'll die a, a gruesome death. Okay, let's go, boys. Let's go. We are the train. Nice. Now we just keep it here. And they try and move it. Ah, guys, come on now. You don't have to kill him like that. Okay, we're hiding. We're hidden. Lol. No! No, my low health. It, it came back to bite me. God damn it. What the fuck? Oh. Oh no, I'm gonna go. Nice. I could have sworn that spy was not on our team. He does not look like a red. Well, he just out close, but from the from the, the distance, he didn't. There we go. That's how you do it. Yippee. Yippee, yippee, yippee. That's what you like to see. We fucking gamed. Let's go. That was dynamite. Very fun. Nice. <laughs> Tug of War. It works. Dark Marsh. Let's go. Damn. Shit's fancy. Okay. Damn. Wow. This this place is so fancy, fancy. Sorry, medic. Blame your mates for that one. Saw the mini sentry and got out of there. Nice. Nice and epic. I'm pretty sure I played a reskinned version of this map before. It feels... It feels like a map I know I've played, but I just can't remember the name. Ooh, one of my favourite spells though. This one should be hopefully fun. Let's we'll see if I can pull it off correctly. Hopefully. We can have that. That did that killed no one. <laughs> did a lot of damage, but no one's actually dead. But hey! We won. And that's what matters. Epic. Epic gaming. Epic. Ooh, I like that um, lamp killing all the bugs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this match is bougie. Maybe I've not played this map before. Maybe it's like a, a separate version of a map I have played that takes aspects of that map and then combines with a different map. I don't know. All I'm saying is the uh, castle itself feels familiar, but I could just be chatting absolute waffle. Who knows? Goodbye. Oh, why was there a scout there? That's so rude. I almost made the perfect escape. Oh my god. <laughs> I saw a, a frame of that crit rocket before it just annihilated me. My god. Where's my where's my gargoyle? Magic. Nice. Ooh, the bats. Okay. I can fuck with some bats. Nice. <laughs> Just a little bit of damage. Soften them for a bit, you know? That's, that spy really tried it. He really thought I was that dumb, didn't he? Oh, Christ almighty. I've definitely played this map before. 100%. 100%. I remember this spot. Ooh, we got the little boy. Could be huge if we can get rid of that sentry gun. If we can get rid of that sentry gun, man. We're about to cook. As soon as I see it go down, man, we're going in. Alright, it's gone. Let's go. I fucking told you we're cooking with that spell. I told you. My head's so big. Let's go. The spell is the way forward. Yes. Don't ever underestimate the spell. Okay, that was Dark Marsh. I thought that was pretty good. Um, definitely a map I've played before, but that doesn't change it. 
love how it looks. On to the next one. Ooh, freaky fair. I like what I'm seeing. I'm seeing upgrades. This already sounds good. I believe I saw this map a few months back when it was being worked on. If it's a map I'm thinking of. Either way, it looks pretty funky. So yeah, it's something I've actually been toying with the idea of doing for so long, but I just haven't... I don't have the skill set to pull this off. Basically, MVM upgrades in casual. Very fun idea. I'm glad someone's done it. Um, fortunately, it wasn't me, but you know, kind of everything in life. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to how this will play out. Maybe Gas Passer is the move in this game mode with its, you know, explode on ignite upgrade. We got $52. I'm fucking rich. Can't buy anything though. Whoa! Whoa! Might have rolled the dice potion. That sounds really fun. Some air blast force. This is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this now. Now that I've got shmoney and canteen power-ups, I've had high hopes because it's something I wanted to do for a while. So, fingers crossed, it cooks. Oh, well, that was great. I got mocked for death. <laughs> Brilliant news. Glad that happened. Oh, we're going to get the roll the dice potion again and have a bit of fun. <laughs> I could go, you know, crits power up, uber power up, you know, something, something not epic. But no, we'll roll the dice again, see what happens. Um, hopefully it's something better than mocked for death, but you never know in this game. What the fuck? This guy's cracked. This guy's honestly cracked. Oh, a thousand health. Epic. Okay, I no longer have a thousand health. Oh! <laughs> and I fell to my death. Babe, that's the only way to deal with a cracked sniper. Just get a thousand health and then you'll survive. Okay, we're ready to roll the dice again shortly. Once they lose their Uber. Oh. Well, that was, that was a waste, actually. Fucking hell, I barely stepped out of spawn and he just domed me. Christ almighty, this guy's good. I kind of be mad because he's just cracked at the game, but good lord, being domed. Brother. He's too good at this video game. I just want to use my funny roll the dice potion in peace. I can't even do that. I'm getting domed. Oh, good lord. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hell. Just look at the scores. 19 KS. 61 to everyone else's lowly barely 20. What? But all in all, the map, the actual idea of the map is fun. You can get upgrades, you can get funny roll the dice potions that can do goofy ass things, which I'm really all about, to be honest. I don't care about the other updates. But, um, you know. I can go fast. Don't know why I'd want to do that, but you can. <laughs> and you know, for a bit of fun, it's pretty nice. It'd be cool if there wasn't like a world's best sniper on the game, but you know, can't win them all. Well, I'll never know what that upgrade did. Probably kills people and leaves statues. Who knows? I'm guessing he had the sniper upgrades, which made him just cracked, which, you know, Fair enough. It's overpowered. And that's what these upgrades are. They are overpowered because they're meant to be used against robots, not other gamers. So, yeah. I can understand it. Don't really want to be in a map with the epic sniper again. All in all, though, fun concept. Um, but yeah, we'll be very overpowered. Nice. And we're going to Circus. Let's go. Play Destruction. Let's go. We've not had... Well, we've had one. One normal game mode in this update. I'm not complaining, but, you know, bog standard TF2 would be pretty cool. Let's get me Spellbook. Oh, we can choose. That's nice. That's fucking sick, actually. That looks very cool. I like the blue pumpkins or purple, whatever colour pumpkins they are. I like that. Yeah, I like the pumpkins. They're nice. And the vibe of the map actually looks pretty dope. What the fuck's the clown core? What on earth? 
Oh my god, why am I the star player? I only have two little little dingies. What is going on in this map? I don't understand. Like, what am I looking at? What's what's actually going on? Yeah, get out of here. Got to go to Marasmus with my one bag of remains. Yippee! Well, that was an epic. Where are the spells, man? I was told to equip my spell book. I've seen zero spells. This is sad. This is very sad. Nice. That was pretty fun. <laughs> How the fuck do I have seven fucking bags? What's going on here? I don't want. I don't want to be the top dog. You know. I'll just drop them off there so no one can have them. Great. Because I don't want them. I don't want to be the top dog. I don't want to be attacked. Where are the spells, though? I'm very sad that there's no spells. Oh, fuck. <gasps> no! Fuck. <gasps> I live! Oh, great. Two vaccinated medics. That's just what you want to be fighting. Joy, oh joy. Get fucked. I just want to take the jump pad. God damn it. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. And he's done start on me. Alright, what's going on there? <laughs> Scout just fucking whacked into the human died. I've actually been scammed by thinking there would be spells in this game mode. Like, well, how could you play with me like that? I'm bleeding to death. Oh! Oh! oh whoa! Whoa! Crossbow reflex kill! Damn. Oh, piss off, Scout. Come on, man. Let me live off the high of reflex killing a medic. That was impressive. We've got to, got to admit, pretty, pretty poggers. I mean, Circus, you know, it does what it says on the tin. It's pretty interesting looking map. You know, it's Nucleus just reskinned, re but that doesn't matter. It works. It still looks good. I'm just sad there's no spells. Why did you advertise spells if I can't use spells? Like, why, am I, why, why have I got the spell book on if there's no spells? The Among Us Man is spy. That's on brand, actually. Uh, it's an interesting map. I don't really get it, to be honest. I'm not sure what's going on. To, to be fair yeah it's play destruction so you get little items for killing people and you have to deposit them in the whatever you deposit them in in this map but yeah it's not it's not my favorite of the new maps i can't lie it looks cool don't get me wrong it looks very cool but um yeah not really for me i guess nice try demo man it's all right it's an all right map you know nothing really to write home about the jump pads are pretty interesting I've never really been a fan of player destruction, to be honest, so that's just my personal taste with that one. I'm a big fan of the purple pumpkins, though. They're very cool. Ah! Oh, God. Was not expecting that, I'll be honest. But yeah, that's been Circus. You know, it's an all right map. I don't hate it, but player destruction just isn't my vibe. And that's, that's okay, you know? It's all right. Decent map. Finally, one to Britney Spears' favourite map, Toxic. I was debating singing it, but I think I'll save your ears for that one. It looks like a real... A real map looks like a normal map. We don't get many of those. Ah. Yeah! Fuck it, have that. Damn, we got the, the fish vicar. That's crazy. Never mind. <laughs> Rest in peace, my man. Nice. No, it's a very grand building, you know, very big, very large. Um, not sure why it's so big and so large, but 
I'm not complaining. That guy was the heavy. Oh god, god. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. I was trying to look into the vat, but... That's not allowed. That was some pretty sick parkour as well. Come on, you gotta fuck, you gotta rate me for that. I like that fucking big ass blimp in the background. I like the bridge. Honestly, man, I wish I wish blimps were still cooking like they were back in the day. You know, they're unfortunately not that good anymore. Oh my god, <laughs> where are they coming from? Jesus Christ! Mm, more vats of goop. Lovely. Just what I like to see in my TF2. Get rid of that. Ooh. Oh, I missed the jump. Fuck. That's fine. There's some health there, actually. That worked out in my... Ooh. Oh, man. I failed the jump again. <laughs> That's embarrassing. It's my gargoyle. That's a good question, actually. I should probably go look for that. No! Ten seconds to find the gog. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Shit, man. Where is it? Where are you, precious, precious gargoyle? Oh, it's there. Oh my god. Yes! Nice. I quite like this buff, actually. You know, it's Koth. Koth's pretty cool. I don't play it enough, to be honest. But you know what? I might just stop playing it. They don't know I'm here. Oh shit, he knows! <laughs> he found me. No! I thought I was I thought I was done, you know. I thought I was happily chilling. Reverting the cap, but no. It was not to be. Oh, why are you here, man? Get out of here. Jesus. Try to extinguish a man, you can't do it. Bloody woke, I tell you. Bloody woke nonsense. Thanks, Medic. You're very epic. Right, this way. Yes. Cook. Oh, we got in. Well, I didn't mean to do that. But we're here now, so I might as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, you can't really see it, but my eyes are starting to do their cool little kill streak effect, you know? I've never gone godlike with this weapon, so I don't know what my kill streak effect will look like in full whack with the binoculars, but I imagine it's pretty, pretty fun. You can see they're starting to pulsate a little bit. Thanks, pal. Mucho appreciated. Just about. Oh, look at my eyes now. We're going crazy style right now. You can sort of see it. They are kind of crazy. <laughs> Sorry, sniper. Sorry, soldier. My god. Nah, I think this is my probably my favorite map actually. You know, it's the one I'm cooking on, so it's my favorite. <laughs> you had a game, but you know how it'd be. Nice, nice. Enjoy it. The buildings, the rooms are very high. High ceilings, which is nice. Gives it a very open feel. Ooh. Hey, a little cheeky... Oh, my, I'm stuck. Didn't want to be in there. Hey, man, I fucking hit that cheeky little pre-reflect on there, you know? Ah, oh, it's the new cosmetic in action. Doesn't look that bad, actually. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was good. That was some good shit, man. <laughs> Into the oceans I go. Crocodiles. The more you know. Anyway, I think that's where we'll leave my review of Toxic. It's quite good. Britney Spears chose to make the song about the right map. And yeah, so that is my look into Scream Fortress 2024. All in all, pretty decent. You know, some solid maps in there. Um, some good ideas. A lot of custom game modes, which mm, not the biggest fan of, to be honest. I think play Destruction. Get out of here. Honestly, 
I couldn't care less about player destruction, to be honest. Um, but that's just me. All in all, very nice update. Very glad to be in some content, even if it is all community contributed and it's Screen Fortress. But it's more than CS2 is getting, so there's always that. There's a distinct lack of spells in this update. I'll say that. Distinct lack of map with spells. Not happy. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like and subscribe down below if you have enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.